I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't study. <laughs> so whatever hit, even just say ouch or fan your seat. <laughs> okay, that's the most dangerous time, huh? Praise God. I may even ask y'all to look for some scriptures. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> so we know if you've been studying. Hallelujah. Well, I know I call on KT. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, we're going to go into Jeremiah, and I believe what I'm looking for is in chapter 29. Mm -hmm. I think we're looking for a verse. I'm praying that's where I need to be. Hallelujah. I'm looking for what God said, my thoughts towards you. Hallelujah. How many of y'all know that God has an opinion about you? Hallelujah. And I don't care how much Satan come before him. Hallelujah. Talking on our account. But there's a thought that God has towards you. His mind is made up on you. His mind made up he's going to bless you. His mind is made up he's going to love you. His mind is made up that he's going to restore every broken bridge. Hallelujah. And there's no opinion poll in heaven when it comes concerning you. Now, I don't know what y'all came to do. Probably you came for a regular service, but hallelujah. But there's some people in here that have been through a furnace. Hallelujah. But when they come out, they're not going to smell like the furnace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get your praise on anyhow. Hallelujah. Now, I came with a different message, but a text message saved it. So, praise God. Hallelujah. You know I'll go there. 29-11. <laughs> Mama, who shined above Saige? 29-11. 29-11. Praise God. Let's turn there. Thank you, May May. Mm -hmm. KT, you're supposed to know that. <laughs> oh, I wonder I was in 28. So, you saved by the bell. Praise God. Let us look at 29, uh, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace. Thoughts of peace. This is the first encouraging thing you need to know tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. That when God thinks about you, hallelujah, he ain't thinking like he think about the angry with the wicked. Because the Bible says he's angry with the wicked every day. Not some days, not just on Sundays, hallelujah, but every day, hallelujah, yep. his mind, how it is toward the wicked, but with the people of God that has been, hallelujah, secured by the name of Christ, he says his thoughts towards you is of peace, mm -hmm. hallelujah, so that should settle any debate, hallelujah, in your life, amen, right. hallelujah, you know, there's going to come a time in your life where, Jesus is going to ask you, who do you say who I am? Right. <laughs> I want you to put a one up there. Just put a big one. Hallelujah. Now, I'm a person, I've been through many furnaces, and guess what? As long as you are in the house of God or in the fellowship of God, you go from one storm to another storm. There ain't no graduations. But you're going to be greater. Oh, God, come on up in here. You're going to be greater than how you started out. Oh, come on up in here. Now, if you just the same way, you still saying, lay me down to sleep, and you've been in church for about a year or two or three, come on now. You go from one storm to another storm, and you're not the same. That's right. Hallelujah. You're greater. Come on. Everything to do with Jesus is greater. We are, hallelujah, we got a better covenant. The book of Hebrew, better. When you have walked with God, hallelujah, at any point of your life, it is supposed to go to another level of perfection. And you know that it goes to a level of perfection based upon your storm. Hallelujah. See, there come a time to say you will judge them by their fruits. Praise God. So when a person try to evaluate, hallelujah, the first thing they need to know what fruits is on this tree. Hallelujah. 
And we we studying that in Sunday school, talking about the fruits of the Spirit. What are the fruits of the Spirit? Oh, I ain't going to call on nobody today. Hallelujah. <laughs> One of the spirit fruits that just jumps out there, I know I'm working on is patience. Right. Oh, come on, God. Help me tonight. Hallelujah. Patience. Because don't you know that how it say in your patience possess ye your soul. You can get yourself out of bounds if you don't wait on God. Hallelujah. Because sometimes God will put you in a situation in life where he don't want you to depend on nobody else but him. Oh, come on up here. Yep. God know how to knock some pillars from underneath you. Right, right. Hallelujah. Right. <laughs> you, every time we go through, we got about five people we want to call. And it's something where God put you in a place in life, hallelujah, where the only name you can call on, come on, right. hallelujah, is the Christ Jesus. Now, I don't know, probably y'all haven't been there, but hallelujah, but there are some Gethsemanes in your ministry, hallelujah. Because yes, we all got to bear a cross, praise God. Right. But always remember this, you're going to come out great, oh, come on, you talking about you want to get paid, but well, baby, hey. When you come through that thing, money is coming your way. Money is coming after you. You don't have to look for the money. Money is looking for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, I ain't trying to do my one first, but I'm here to encourage you tonight. Whatever you're going through, you're going to be greater in the end run. So I got a one up here. I want you to put a zero in your life, all the things. Put a one on your notes. You're going to have some different notes tonight. So when you talk to someone to go through a furnace, they talk different. Hallelujah. They break rules <laughs> that the religious-minded <laughs> say. Hallelujah. Put a one on your notes, because I know you remember that. We'll be in church, hallelujah, and all day, and then by, somebody asks you after service, what are they talking about? Uh, what do they think? <laughs> uh, he said, <laughs> praise God, but you're going to have a number one on your paper, and that number one represents you, so put it in your notes. And every time I'm, I'm going to bring something up, I want you to put a zero behind that one. Hallelujah. Yeah, you're going to do the zero. Come on, baby. <laughs> the first zero represents, hallelujah, childhood hurts. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you went through some childhood hurts, put a zero down. Hallelujah. If you dealt with people talking about you, put a zero down. Hallelujah. This baby ain't putting down. She's saved. She's ready for Jesus. She's rapture ready, baby. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you've been through a storm, if you're in a storm right now, put a zero down. Hallelujah. I want you to think about all the things that you've been through in your life, and it all adds up today. That God said, the thoughts that I have toward you as peace. You dealing with a spouse that don't want to act right. Put a zero down. Hallelujah. <laughs> so no matter what you go through, in the end, your value increase. Oh, come on up in here. Hallelujah. 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 You may start out as a 10 at the beginning of the year. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, Betty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God is going to add value to your life. Hallelujah. And he said, my thoughts towards you are of peace. Yes. And what does the rest say? My thoughts, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace. And not of evil. So God ain't trying to find a way to do you under. Hallelujah. Right. That's one of the biggest tricks of the enemy is to think that God has forgotten about you. Right. But the fact that you go through a storm lets you know that God is with you. Hallelujah. Because guess what? Satan don't mess with nothing he don't already have. Understand that. Hallelujah. He's messing with your finances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Messing with your sleep. Getting in your dreams. Hallelujah. But we are going to get bold in the spirit. Yeah. We're going to put up some no trespassing zones in our spirit, in our homes, in our finances. Because guess what? Until you open up your mouth. Hallelujah. That's what's going to cause some things to cease. When you open up your mouth and speak what this saith the Lord. Hallelujah. You go around your house. Now, Lord, I know the thoughts that you have toward me is a peace. Amen. And not of evil. 
So I don't know what's going on in this finances. Hallelujah. But I speak. Oh, come on up here. Somebody got to know about the power of speaking. <laughs> you know, there's a difference between the anointing and a yoke breaking anointing. Hallelujah. Everybody in here have an anointing. But there's a difference between a yoke breaking anointing. Hallelujah. Anybody call, you know, anybody that is part of Christ, there's an anointing on your life. We all been through something, right? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. To help somebody. Amen. But see, there's a difference, hallelujah, when we talk about a yoke breaking anointing, that is a level of dealing with someone that is advocate in prayer. Advocate in being in their word. Advocate as turning, hallelujah, unto the Lord, hallelujah, for instruction. Acknowledging him in all your ways, hallelujah. Leaning not onto your own understanding. That's a Proverbs 3 and 5. Right, right. Hallelujah. Right. Now, if I'm having a problem with food in my house, and your kitchen overflowing with food, and you have to nail your refrigerator shut, and you're going to tell me God's going to make a way in the food department. I'm sorry, your yoke anointing, they ain't no anointing for you to break the yoke on me. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, praise God. Come on, you know, and you know, we want to encourage everybody. Come on, praise God. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's right. But you always start out, look, I don't know what you're going through. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. But I know my God is faithful. Hallelujah. And he never lost the battle. He's the champion of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what, hallelujah. David had five rocks in his satchel. He only used one. God got behind one rock. One rock. That's all it takes. You should be surprised what cancer would do to a liar. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, all the guy have to do is use one rock. And when he reached in that satchel, that rock was Christ. Oh, come on, God. Hallelujah. Who is the rock of all ages? You ain't going to convince me that Satan got you so hemmed up that the rock of all ages can't get you out. Oh, that's a place to praise God right there. Hallelujah. I don't care what you're facing with. I don't care what's going on in your home. But the rock of all ages, he has been strong through all ages. Hallelujah. And he's going to be strong in your behalf. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. No matter how much the zeros collect in your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So the thoughts that he has towards us is what, May May? Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. An expected end. Praise God. So in other words, this is a planned journey. What you're going through ain't no surprise. See, God has a left hand and a right hand. Hallelujah. The left hand, oh, you don't want the left hand of God to raise up over you. Praise God. Not that by itself. Because the left hand of God is calamity. The left hand of God. See, that's where Satan has to answer to. He can't just railroad your life with everything. Because he has to have answer to the left hand of God. Wow. He has to get permission. That's a job situation in your life. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Satan just can't come in and ransack all up in your life and do what he want to. Because the left hand of God. God has to say, what is your plans? Give me the details. <laughs> Not that God need them. He, he knows our thoughts. And so he examined, okay, before you do that, I'm going to prepare an exit door, according to um, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Hallelujah. So before the problem comes, God already got the answer ahead of time. He prepared a door of escape before the situation came to you. All right. Before that booger acted up in your life. Hallelujah. God prepared an exit door. Right. Man. Because the thoughts that he have towards us is not of evil but peace to bring us an expected end. He have a planned ending and the end is success. The end is victory. Yeah. The end is with your hands raised up. Hallelujah. It's a fixed fight. You know, sometimes, you know, it's the hardest thing to capture. But you have to understand that this is a fixed fight. I don't know how many of y'all get excited about... Uh, uh, wrestling. <laughs> My grandma used to thought it was real, praise God. But it's a fixed fight. <laughs> Just at the edge of her seat, bless her. <laughs> she deep south, praise God. Oh yeah, she deep south. <laughs> 
of South Carolina. Hallelujah. <laughs> and my our granddad, he was all into, he thought, <laughs> you know, trying to, trying to bet on who's going to win. Hallelujah. It's a fixed fight. Mm -hmm. Whatever Satan is playing, <laughs> God has already fixed the end that you're going to be the winner. Amen. So that is why you praise him now. Amen. Hallelujah. Not when it manifests. Because I don't even have to see it. I just know that his thoughts towards me is of peace and not of evil. And God is not like man that he should tell a lie. Or like the son of man that he should repent. Amen. That when, God's, when God has promised you something, you better expect it has no choice but to come to pass. Right. Hallelujah. God ain't like your cousin Pookie. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. If God promised you something, it's a guarantee. Because right. he have to come off the phone if he lie to you. Oh, come on. God is not about to lie to you. So if he said what he spoke to you, what he got for you, hallelujah, you will rejoice despite if I see it or not. Because the enemy will play with them chords. Come on. How many of y'all know that? Amen. Satan play games. He make things exist that don't really exist. He's the author of confusion. Hallelujah. Oh, man, God. That, that will help you to separate some people from your life. Trouble will help you separate some people. Hallelujah. Because then you start to make an assessment. Wait a minute. You know, I realize every time I'm broke, it's after this person come over. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I notice all my weave missing when this person come over. Weave, not weed. Weave. <laughs> if weed is missing, <laughs> that's favor of the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> but I'm coming to the point. We all have to let go and let go and let God Come on, man. operate in our lives. Yes. So they're going to come and tell you it's not just a book changer. Oh, come on up here, God. But the pages of your life. Hallelujah. Right. And as you walk through this journey, that's a fixed fight. There's some things that God wants you to let go of. Mm -hmm. Let go of your reputation. Oh, come on up in here. Mm -hmm. Do you know that one of the greatest things that Jesus accomplished in his ministry was the help of liars? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you think his name got so popular? Oh, God. I know it's probably an ouch moment in here. You probably lied on somebody. Somebody got a liar in here? Hallelujah. The gift of discernment. Lied on somebody. Been lying since Girl Scout. Hallelujah. Praise God. But there's hope for the liar. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You'd be surprised how God's going to get you to that expected end. Because we think that, you know, our limo's going to pull out and the butler's going to come out and come this way, brother. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the first way it comes through a situation. Hallelujah. Jeez. Through a lie. Hallelujah. Come on, God. Right. But it's to get you to an expected end. Oh, God. Right, right. Jesus was trying to think of every other way to, get, to do the cross thing except get nailed. But he said, nevertheless, Lord. Come on, how many of y'all came tonight with a nevertheless? You came to church with something on your mind. You was thinking, hallelujah, shall I even come tonight? Seemed like the last Wednesday, hallelujah. But how oh, I dare say, if I am a man of God... I can prophesy in this place right now, hallelujah, that your situation is turning in the spirit as of today, hallelujah. I dare you to catch it in the spirit, hallelujah. I dare you him of Queenie, oh, we command healing to overtake you in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh God, trying to steal your dance. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. You're going to have a strong finish. Because I'm learning to let go of some things that God can't use. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's a daily thing to the day you die. You always going to have something in your pocket that God can't use. Hallelujah. There's some people you have to let go to get to that successful place. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been, we've been close as two toes in a sock. Hallelujah. <laughs> we've 
we pledge and you know <laughs> cut our fingers rubbed it together we say we sisters today we die well, well let me help you out those who do the will of God those are your sisters and your brothers and your mothers hallelujah do you know that's the real family you got it's in the house of God that's right all them other people are just bullets that Satan used oh come on up here some of the greatest people that is used in your life against you are people who don't know who they are in God and come with a false identity I'm sorry Lord do what you got to do hallelujah I ain't got time to be standing before God and God said I don't even know who you are who are you what's your name again <laughs> well they call but Pookie and them call me you know, I don't know you but I prayed when, when did you pray but you was backstabbing at the same time. So whatever God has to break off us to get us to the blessed place. Hallelujah. Know that it is a place of blessings for you. And that you are going to be greater in the end. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, I did this example before. Now I'm, I'm going to get a volunteer everywhere. Where can I find a volunteer? Hallelujah. I know I'm going Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who can I who can I minister on without afraid of getting embarrassed? Ha Shanda Bosaye. You better pray that the prophetic spirit don't pop on me. <laughs> oh God. Come on up here. Don't be nervous. No, I need a I need an adult. Adults have problems. Hallelujah. You teenagers, bless God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. Uh Miss uh what is it, Mercedes? What are you driving? Porsche, hallelujah. Come on, Porsche. So that means you better not come in here with somebody with a pinto. <laughs> ah, they don't make those they don't no make more. <laughs> hallelujah. Talking about this is the favor of God. And one of your sisters going to be bold enough to tell you the devil tricked you, baby. <laughs> no, bless God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now I'm gonna ask her about this twenty. Hallelujah! I know you can use this twenty in your gas tank tonight. Praise God! Hallelujah! Because <laughs> a car like that, how Lexus? Hallelujah! <laughs> you can use it. Well, if I threw it out in the crowd now, some of the people who claim that say, I guarantee you, sister girl who came in that wheelchair will come out that wheelchair to come get this twenty. Hallelujah! <laughs> And don't even know she stepped into her healing. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Because I believe I'm going to prophesy every day. She's going to come in here walking with her own feet. She's going to come in here with her own mind. Devil, you will not steal her healing. Hallelujah. Whatever she done, hallelujah. She prayed about it. She was forgiven. Hallelujah. She don't have to hold on to that weight. And we prophesy her healed. Hallelujah. And my words will not return unto me void. Whatever condition that need to be made, it's met tonight. Hallelujah. Wherever she's struggling in her faith, ride our faith in the name of Jesus. But God, we believe it. And we will not stop till we see the manifestation. Hallelujah. Now I'm talking about her in the wheelchair, but I'm talking to you too. What situation you came with? Hallelujah. You better get some anointing talk on it. Hallelujah. It may look dead. Hallelujah. But we say quicken in the name of Jesus. Because it's what you say. Jesus couldn't die until he stopped talking. You better catch that revelation. As long as your situation don't stop you from praising. As long as your situation don't stop you from worshiping. Hallelujah. There's hope. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Now this will happen when you don't have no notes. Praise God. I'm just down to the, a thought that God has of me. And according to Psalms 139, it says the, his thoughts you can't even accumulate. It's more than the sands on a beach. His thoughts towards us. Yes. And you having a mind fight who you had to get rid of last year. And he had two thoughts. One of you, or what is it, on three occasions? <laughs> and you was only on night. 
praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I count all things. Hallelujah. For the excellency in Christ. All things that I've lost. Hallelujah. To gain Christ. Oh, come on, God. Because whatever you lose to gain what God has for you in your future, it was well worth the journey. That's right. It was well worth. Hallelujah. You know when bishops say tip to your uh, 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 glass. <laughs> yeah. Your glass. Yeah. We all going to have to drink from that glass. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So this 20. <laughs> now I'm going to ask her if she want it. Praise God. Do you want the 20? You do, right? <laughs> now tell me, do you want the 20 if I step on it? You still want it? Yeah. How many have been stepped on? Okay. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on up in here. Come on. Come on. How many have been stepped on? Man. <laughs> You sure you still want this 20? Yes. Sometimes we question God. Do you still think that you love me? Look at the things that I've done. All the things that I've done. Hallelujah. Especially if you come here with a spirit of uh, imbalance. There's some things you know you need to make right with God before the inner service. Because tomorrow's not promised to you. You've been playing with God. God ain't interested in dating you. He's interested in marrying you into his promises. Oh God. You've been playing. Your dreams been wanting you to get it together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When David don't get on that campus, he ain't dating God. Right. He's married to this thing. Right. Oh, come on up here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm stepping on it. You still want it? Mm -hmm. Oh, son, let me see. Hallelujah. How about I ball it up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 now I'm balling this thing up. Hallelujah. There's some things that have make you crumble in life. But you can't find a prayer partner. Oh, come on up in here. Ah, oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. There are going to be some situations. Now, you probably got every T cross, every I dotted. it. Your money came through. Your EBT card made it on time. I don't know. Hallelujah. But there are going to be a death's. A, a Gethsemane that's going to come up in your walk. And Jesus said, Hallelujah, if you bear your cross, I promise you that the life you lose on this side, Hallelujah, you're going to gain something greater. Hallelujah. So there's some things that are going to crumble you. Hallelujah. But you still want it, huh? Oh, Jesus. This 20 represents our life at times. I don't care what you've been through, you still have worth to God. Mm. Hallelujah. So that let me cancel out somebody saying you ain't worth a quarter. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. You still have worth. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm blessing you. Go ahead. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, give God some praise. This ain't even going to be a long night. You got to know what you're working with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I prophesy that 20 going to turn into 20 million. Hallelujah. I blow on it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me help you out here. It's been 1996 God prophesied on me and told me that he called me to be a billionaire. Now, I've still been waiting for the manifestation. Hallelujah. And I ain't collecting no opinion polls. I know what God told me. And thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He just reminded me something that I need to do. You know, a lot of times we get in trouble. I better write it down before I forget. Excuse me. Well, I be obedient. I ain't got no paper. I can't even be obedient because I ain't got no paper. Give me some paper. Hallelujah. Let me write it on the bill where I know I get it. Praise God. Say that thing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mamie is a blessed woman of God. Amen. And I know she's a woman of God because her, her ability to certain things she does at the right time. Her timing is right. And you mean to tell me God going to keep that on the shelf? The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. God 
God sent me this man. Hallelujah. <laughs> he said that he had birthed millionaires. And he told me what I need to do starting that day. You know, a lot of times we, we get in trouble because we don't do the first thing God told us. Right. Come on. Right. And a lot of it is because of distractions. Right. Because the enemy knows that your end is successful. And he can't stop your ending. Oh, come on up here. If you should have caught that right there in your seat. He can't stop. You unstoppable. That's right. Come on. Hallelujah. But one thing he can't try to do, hallelujah, oh, Shanda, is try to hinder you. That's what he did to Paul. Paul went to preach. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't remember where he went to preach, but I know he went over in the boat, went to go minister to a crew, and a snake came out the rocks and bit him. Yep. Couldn't stop him, will try to hinder him. Mm -hmm. And what do you do? Just shake the snake on off in the fire. Hallelujah. Right. Come on, Holy Ghost fire. When, the, when you got snakes that's trying to, hallelujah, come and hinder what God said, what is your expected end. Right, right. See, we were so powerful when us, Pastor Linda put all the men on the front row. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people think I'm so spiritual. But I'm not so spiritual that I ain't stupid. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God has teach, have taught me through persecution, principles of God. Hallelujah. I ain't come to repent or apologize for it. Come on, some things God just put in you is just in you. Hallelujah. You don't have to hold nobody on explanation. I'm sorry, you just have to say hallelujah before noon. Because you've been to a level in your ministry where you realize you made it over. Amen. That situation you thought the last time, you forgot that you was even out of it. No, come on out of here. Mm -hmm. There's some things you're going to go through, you ain't going to realize that you already made it over. Dang, I forgot I had that problem. When did I, when did I get out of that? <laughs> and I owed a lot of money. I hear you. <laughs> I mean, my back was against the wall. I said, Lord. <laughs> I was doing a Job thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. And God brought me out. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I better stop doing that. I forget my chain of thought. Hallelujah. Praise God. But you got to know that you have an expected end. God is going to bring you out. But all Satan can do is bring distractions. Hallelujah. You have to be focused, Davion. Because you ain't going to just walk up there on the campus. I'm a man of God. <laughs> they play the drums. No. Everything that freaks you is coming your way. That's right. But we pray that your faith fail you not. Right. We pray in advance. We send prophetic word ahead of you. Hallelujah. We spoke prophetic word ahead of you. It's already on the campus. Right. Waiting for that heifer girl. <laughs> Come on. You got to speak prophetically in the morning. Hallelujah. Him that thing up before it gets to you. Come on. There's a thing called praying in the third heaven. Hallelujah. We're so used to now lay me down to sleep. <laughs> I pray the Lord my weed to keep. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you put the trials of tribulation, you're going to learn how to pray. If you don't know how to pray, God will teach you how to pray. Yeah. Hallelujah. I used to have a cute prayer. I used to, hey, you don't take all that yelling. <laughs> I was from the Baptist Stay Home Church. <laughs> Baptist Stay Home Church of God in Christ. <laughs> On behalf of Budweiser, hallelujah. <laughs> Hennessy. <laughs> All my sponsors. <laughs> Hallelujah. It don't take all that to pray. You know, when I first come to grace, it don't take all that. God can hear you. <laughs> and when I first saw that dance, oh, hallelujah. Davion, I know you want to do it now. Hallelujah. But keep it in reserve. That holy dance. Jesus. I thought, what is going on with these people? <laughs> I wasn't raised up in church. <laughs> Hallelujah. But God put me in a situation. Oh, come on, God. Hallelujah. With my little soft little prayer. And God. I'm like, whoa, is that me? <laughs> 
like, I'm up there alone. What's going on? <laughs> and till that day, I cannot pray no little cute prayer. I try. I, I honestly do. I don't try to be deep in the stairs, whatever. Uh, I start out cute, and somehow I end up on the other side. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I'm calling on the heavens. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because of the birthing. There's a birthing place for the will of God in your life. Hallelujah. That's my next book. Praise God. It's already ready. Hallelujah. But there's a birthing place. Hallelujah. For the will of God in your life. A lot of time it come on the back side of the mountain. Moses on the run. When you're not popular. Oh, come on. Yep. That's when you're going to run into the burning bush. Oh, come on up in here. That's when you're going to start seeing miracles. Hallelujah. See, sometimes God has to get you hemmed up good enough so you can hear his voice. Good enough so you can see a miracle happen. Oh, God. God has been doing miracles all day and you haven't even noticed. You didn't realize there was a drunk driver that missed you. That's right. That's it. That's right. I tell you about a week ago, I'm driving in my vehicle, hallelujah, and I just happened to go just a far, a little far enough for this spirit jumped on this one. I watched it all on my rear mirror. The Lord had me to slow down and watch the manifestation, how demons set up killings, hallelujah. There's spirits that set up drive-by. That suicidal spirit, that's a spirit that was sent to set you up. Hallelujah. You better know tonight, tell that suicidal spirit, oh come on up in here, that the thoughts that God has toward me is of peace and not of evil. To give me an expected end. I don't care what it look like, hallelujah, but God said he is about to make your ashes, hallelujah, and turn it into beauty. Oh God, come on up in here. We might as well just shoot everything down in the spirit. Come on, the, the spirit of the Lord, hallelujah. Take me back to the instant because I leave people. <laughs> hallelujah. It says that he has given us the keys to the kingdom. That whatever we bind in heaven is bound on earth. Whatever we loose in heaven is loose on earth. That's a lot of authority going on there. Yep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And the only way to do that, you got to open up your mouth, right? Hallelujah. And that don't mean because how the situation look. I don't care what y'all say. I'm a billionaire right now. I know that's right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I am a billionaire. Yeah. I am a millionaire. Billionaire in Hosanna Bosaya out of the spirit realm into my life now. I call it into manifestation now. I loose that out of the heavens. Hallelujah. See, you got to understand. <laughs> First of all, let me give a teaching on that real quick. First of all, you ain't loosening nothing where God is at. So you better understand that scripture ain't talking about where God dwells. You ain't loosening nothing from there. Because the word of God is settled in heaven. There ain't no confusion. Everybody know that God reigns. See, anytime you loosen it and binding something in a region, it's because there's a, a disorder. There's a second opinion going on there. Someone have not fully, hallelujah, come under hallelujah, of the authority of Christ. So you have to make them come. Hallelujah. So the heavens are layers. Yep. And God sits on the top of all them layers. Right. So when you loosen the body, we're talking about in a demonic region that is holding up your stuff. Okay. And every time you pray, when it try to come down, there's a demon that try to hold it back. Yo, Go ahead, man. So when you loosen that mind, we ain't talking about where God is, because God already sent it, according to Daniel. Hallelujah. He told Daniel, the first day that you set your face towards heaven, God already sent the answer. That's right. Yes. But the angel was hemmed up in Persia. Yes, he was. You got a Persia me when you're dealing with. That's right. 
come on. So that's why you got to keep on talking. Right. Because as you speak with the armor of God, your angel is going to get the armor of God to fight. And every time you doubt, your angel loses the sword. <laughs> I'll teach it to myself tonight. I left y'all. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Back to that story. So when that demon tried to cause that crazy woman to hit the embankments, just going crazy, flipped her car to the side, hit over the media to where we were, could have hit our head dead on. The child was pinned underneath the car. She's dead today. Ah. You got to understand that there is a attempt Hallelujah on the people of God. There is a hallelujah. There's a, 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 a demonic hit out on you. We can't afford not to get up and pray. Amen. Amen. Wake me up before you go, go. <laughs> you better have somebody wake you up. You ain't that sleepy. <laughs> now when you got a demon over you with some donuts and coffee. <laughs> talking about I... I rub, ran some bubble bath for you. <laughs> the devil is a lie. Let me tell you, I've seen some powerful miracles of God. I've seen some powerful manifestations that do not make sense. Y'all be looking at me crazy today. Because of an experience with God. You have to go through an experience with the cross. Right. Hallelujah. Jesus is the only one bearing the cross, baby. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Man. You're going to fellowship in this cross bearing. Hallelujah. That's right. And what is the cross experience? Whatever you think that is so dear that you can't let go of. Hallelujah. Well, I have to be popular. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can't stand alone. <laughs> That's one pillar God will burn from underneath you quickly. Just be broke long enough. <laughs> be sick long enough. Ha uh -huh. I'm praying with you, sister. Where you at now? Hallelujah. But thank God his thoughts towards us is a consistent thought. God ain't sometimey. <laughs> we all serve a sometimey God. Hallelujah. But I've been waiting. That's right, God been waiting on you too. <laughs> because guess what? The only time you really see worship in the Bible, the first time it appears, is when Abraham had his son to sacrifice him. They called that worship. You thought it worship just oh, see, and you just hold on to everything. <laughs> That ten dollars God then told you to bless this baby with. <laughs> I better bless you now. I'm sowing good seeds. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. I got a soul. When the devil got you here, up, he got a soul. Hallelujah. I prophesy every. I'm, I'm sowing. I'm sowing tonight. Hallelujah. And I know I'm a soul into some good ground. I know there's some good ground in this place. Praise God. Praise God. This young man, hallelujah, coming with his mom faithfully, paying attention. Hallelujah. What's your, what's your secret, mama? Help me out. Help me out. You know, they say the, 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 the ministers and the pastor's kids. Oh, Jesus. Y'all pray for my Ethan, Lord. The devil going to loose my baby and let him go. Hallelujah. Every time the music came off, here he come with his dance. And the devil think he's going to steal his dance and steal his smile. Devil, loose my son and let him go. Hassan, the devil, say, I speak it over all my children. Y'all multi-billionaires. In the name of Jesus, I speak it to your spirit. Even if you don't understand it now, I speak favor. Hallelujah. I speak angelical hosts surrounding you. Hallelujah. Whatever situation that try to come up, I speak from the third heaven that it's already fixed. Hallelujah. You better stop praying on earth. Davion, before I 
I get to that campus, I speak favor. I speak that God is going to increase my mind, hallelujah, like he did Daniel, and that his thoughts surpass even the instructors, hallelujah. You're not going to be a casualty when you lose your identity. We got enough people going to campus and losing their spiritual identity and moral folk uh, uh, compass. So we prophesy that on you. Hallelujah. And my word will not turn to me void. Come on, y'all know you got authority in your mouth. Hallelujah. And in your worship, there's a ram as you being obedient to God. I come when I don't feel like it. Hallelujah. I, I want to stop. I want to quit. I want to throw in the towel. But I keep pushing. I keep persevering. Hallelujah. That ram is climbing on the other side. On the other side of what you're going through. Your blessing is climbing with you. Hallelujah. I can't even hardly get it out of my spirit. God wanted to jump in you. As I climb the other side, my blessing is climbing right along with me. Hallelujah. 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 His thoughts on me is peace, not evil. I don't care what you did. Hallelujah. I don't care what you did. Get that thing handled tonight. Stop getting hemmed up. The path towards righteousness is narrow. If you in for something that is, hallelujah, too much space, hell is a wide road. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ain't got nothing else to say.